Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI News Bite. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. An aeroplane in the US has been forced to make an emergency landing in Texas after the captain began shouting about Afghanistan and Al-Qaeda. JetBlue Flight 191 from New York to Las Vegas was carrying 135 passengers when the pilot began marching through the cabin ranting. Amateur video shows passengers helping to restrain him. After security had removed the captain from the aircraft, the plane carried on to Vegas. They got him good, he was down, they subdued him. And honestly, after that, I was like, okay, something really bizarre has just happened, but we're going to be okay. One not-so-pretty fireworks display. Explosions at a firework factory in Thailand have set off fires at four warehouses, forcing nearby residents to flee. Workers were not on duty at the factory when it started and no casualties have been reported. Officials are investigating what caused the incident. The peace plan is not off to a good start. There have been intense clashes between government soldiers and rebels in Syria just hours after the Syrian regime accepted a ceasefire drawn up by UN envoy Kofi Annan. Amateur videos from Syria posted online yesterday appear to show shelling and government forces tanks on the streets in a number of cities. Opposition members accuse President Bashar al-Assad of agreeing to the plan to stall for time as his troops make a fresh push to kill off opponents. A new face and a new chance at life. After 15 years of wearing a mask, a 37-year-old Virginia man has received a new face, nose, teeth and jaw in what docs say is the most extensive face transplant ever performed. Richard Lee Norris, who was disfigured in a gun accident, had been living as a recluse when he was chosen from five possible candidates for the surgery. He's said to be recovering well, beginning to feel his face and already brushing his teeth and shaving. It may be game over, but they're not giving up. Up. Staff at a number of game stores here are continuing a sit-in protest over redundancy pay. 14 shops in Ireland and 263 in Britain were closed on Monday after the gaming specialists went into administration. Workers are demanding to be fairly treated over the amount of redundancy paid following the closures. And it's back and this time it's in 3D. Kate Winslet joined Titanic director James Cameron at the Royal Albert Hall in London last night for the world premiere of the 3D version of the smash hit tragedy Titanic. The record-breaking movie is being re-released in 3D to mark the 100th anniversary of Titanic's departure from Southampton, setting sail on its doomed maiden voyage. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tb3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, some people take showing off a step too far. At number four, one kitty cat shows she's serious about lights out. At number three, an easy but slightly mean way to walk your dog. At number two, when DIY and heavy metal collide. And number one today, while on the beast, falling asleep can be common. Bodhi sleeping while standing after skiing. He, he is a sound asleep. Tune in to FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, all of today's tech news, and Paul will be here with all of the sport. Let's we'll see you back here at 6, right here on 3E.